Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at making option buttons look better in Microsoft Excel. I have a worksheet here and this is actually working a little chart down here and I have a video that teaches you how to do that. It's up here, it's linked up here in the top corner. But right now what we're looking at is making these option buttons look better. There's not a lot that you can do just out of the box. So what I'm going to do is just right click this option button, go to format control because here in the colors and lines tab, I could add a fill. So I could, for example, make this a sort of blue color. Actually, because the text is going to be black, it's going to need to be something that you can see the text on. You can see that we could also add lines, but that's pretty much all we can do here. And it's really not highly satisfactory. What I'd like to do is to have something that looks a bit more like a button, if you like. So let's see how we're going to do that. Let's just click away from here. What I'm going to do is go to the Insert tab here and I'm going to Shapes and I'm looking out for a shape I can use. And what I'm looking at is this rectangle with rounded corners because it looks sort of button-like, if you like. So let's just click on that and let's drag out something that could be our button. Here in the Shape Format tab, once you've got a shape selected in Shape Format, you can go and select a different look for it. So there are options here that we could make our button look like, if you like. So I'm just going to choose a sort of plain looking button. I'm pretty happy with that. I think it looks okay. I'm going to use California for this one. So I'm going to right click it and choose Edit Text because you can put text in these boxes, but you can't put option buttons. So that's the tricky bit that we're going to address. I need to push the text away from this side of the box so that I'm going to have room to put my option button in there in a minute. So I'm going to press the space bar about four times, I think. That's pretty good. And I'm going to type California. At this point, I could change the color of my text and I can obviously change the fill on my box, on my little rectangle. You can also make the corners more rounded here by just dragging on them. There is a slight problem with the text location here. I'm going to keep my shape selected. I'm going over here to the size box because here in the text box area are the controls for the spacing. And what I want to do is to shrink the top margin and the bottom margin just to zero because that's going to make things look a little bit more balanced. So let's just make those zero and zero. And you can see now that the word California is appearing nicely positioned inside this shape. Now the issue we have to do and to deal with is getting this option button into here. So I'm going to select on this, just right click to select it. I'm just going to drag it over here. But you can see that because I made the shape second, the option button is behind everything. So before I put it over California, I'm going to right click it and I'm going to choose order and I'm going to choose bring to front because now it's on a layer. There are layers in Excel for drawn objects like this, it's on a layer that is higher than that shape. So I'm just going to position it here. And then I'm going to click where the word California originally was. I'm just going to wipe it out. So now I'm left with an option button over the word California. And so that's really handy. That's really what I want, except that they're not joined together. They're two separate objects. So I'm going to my Select Objects arrow here. I have it on my Quick Access Toolbar because it's just really handy. But if you don't, you'll go to the Home tab on the ribbon. You're going to Find and Select. And down here, you've got a Select Objects option. So just click on that. Now there was a reason why I dragged all of this bits and pieces away from this area is because you're going to have to drag a fairly sizable rectangle over these to select both of them. If you can't do that, you're just going to select one and then hold down the shift key as you click on whatever is still open and visible, which is probably the other bit. Then you're going to right click and just choose group and then group again. And so that makes these a single group object. And as you can see, they look a whole lot better than the original. So this was the original. The, let me just get out of select object mode here. This was the West Coast option. This is the Canada option with just a fill color, not particularly attractive. And this is the California one with the shape and the filled color 
things layered on top of each other, grouped together. And I just think that's a whole lot better looking than the originals. And of course, when you're making a shape like this, you can actually choose a different text type. So let's go back to this rectangle. Let's go back and make it a different color this time. Let's right click and choose edit text. I'm going to use West Coast for this. I press the space bar that four times again. I'm going to need obviously to go to the size options and get rid of the borders on this. But what I'm interested in showing you here is the text option. So let's just right click and with this text, we can choose whatever font we want and whatever size we want and whatever color we want. So there are a whole heap of font options available creating your option buttons this way or making a shape to join the option button with so that you have something that's clickable but still looks really good. Way more font options, way more color options than you have just with the original option button because you can't actually even choose a font with those. That just whatever it comes with is what it comes with. So I hope that this shows you some of the things that you can possibly do. There might be other objects that you want to use that you can use this option with. So for example, there are in the insert option there are check boxes that you can use so you might want to put a check box with a background on it that's more like that looks more like this than just very very plain so there's things that you can do just be aware that this is how you're going to do them is just stacking things on top of each other so here's to better looking option buttons on your dashboards in microsoft excel if you like carefully researched content like this, clearly presented in a step-by-step -step format so that you can get great results every time, then you'll love my other YouTube videos. So give this video a thumbs up and click to subscribe to the channel. And on the screen now, you'll see a video that I've handpicked for you to watch next.